Well, Sparks is angry, and I know I should be, because we're heading into Deep Space! Welcome back to the finale of Lockheed Night Adventures here on the Heavy Basics channel. Last time, the uh, the Devilgus, the Emperor of the of the Devote of the Devotos uh, Empire, has gone back to the Pigstar. We gotta follow him there, and our job basically is to basically do this bit, which is basically this is Gradius. This is straight up Gradius. No, I'm not. I'm not kidding. This is Gradius. And if you're wondering if it if it's like Gradius, then you know precisely because Konami made Gradius. This is the same bloody thing here. Although, this definitely has, uh, Gradius influences, if you not heard uh, play this one. Seriously though, I have not played Gradius at all. Perhaps that might be a contendership for a game. I don't know. But, there are sequel series? Technically, I have done stuff for the channel, which is cool. So anyway, if you know that meteorite thing and hit the right one, you get rewarded with apples. Apples that will help you heal. Anyway, more mini-boss time is, of course, a uh, pig fighter. That has a shield, but also has a blaster where you can take him out, and he goes down like a boss. I mean, like a big. Which is not much. I guess if you take it's not much. Anyway, hit the right enemy and you'll get a lot of heal items, which is good. Now we get towards the now we get towards personal pig fighters, which is alright. Except there's Axel Gear in a spacesuit, who obviously can't fly by himself. Which sorta of kinda of predicts that. We, the reason why, you know, why uh, Sparks shows in space, slashing for the enemies, is there's, there's, two, there's two explanations. Short term, this is a video game. Long term, he was given mag he was given magical blessings from the princess. Which is obviously the reason why Axel Gear can't breathe in space. Men make a mental note, he's probably gonna, if he goes into space for real, he'll die himself. You can tell. Anyway, boss time! Boss is this is the pig battleship, and yes, that is exactly what it looks like. This is the definitive Gradius boss. You probably you can't, but the problem with the Gradius boss styles is that you have options. Normally, that's what Gradius has is options to compensate for the lack of direction. Here, it's just sort of painful. There is no direct. Actually, there is no option. You just need to be upside down at the right time. You just gotta hit him at the right spot, as it were, so you need to take out the right action. So, destroying one of the guns here will access you to another area. Very vitally important. So, destroying this gun here will give you access to the pig fighter's, um, to the, uh, to the pig fighter's, uh, be uh, shuttle docking bay. You destroy that. Which then allows you to open up towards the uh, the main uh, the main head of the pig of the pig ship of the pig battleship. Seriously though, you're in space and you have a helicopter. Why would you need to do that? Anyway, strike the orange glowing core, and you'll find and you'll find that you can now separate. Go nuts! Seriously, go nuts. This is how you take it out. Do that before you do so. The uh, battleship falls, and only the pilot's head, his, only the pink head, remains. Found a long life. Wrong. This is where the this is where repetition now comes in. This the pink the bot the pink the pink battleship head now becomes a fucking mobile suit. Also, it becomes a definitive Gradius boss. His pattern is very predictable. Survive the first two onslaughts, and then strike the core. Like so. And then it does Luigi jumps. Once it does Luigi jumps, just basically keep it on the bouncing pattern and it's kind of easy to predict. Seriously, it is real easy to predict. And kind of real easy. Avoid the Gradius attacks and avoid the laser attacks and then go straight back to the core. The core will be literally just about be like, you know, go forth and avoid the jumping back and forth attacks as, you know, that takes the damage. It's only a few times, so you gotta go do this again. Do a bit of repetition. Do a bit of this. And do that. There we go. Now avoid the Luigi jumps. And we should be good. Yes, indeed, we should be good. Avoid the Gradius. Avoid the bullet hell bullet wave, like so. Then we do the laser attacks. 
Then, do that, and that's the end of the picture, and the end of level 6. We're one level away from completing the game, but the, le but the level in question is one of the longest. This is the reason why the, the mission length is so long. It's the longest mission in the game. Why it's the best? It's the last one. Best analogy of the game. The longest mission of the whole game. And finally, after all that bullshit, we've arrived at the devil, at the pig star. Stage 7, we're finally gonna stick, we're gonna finally stick a fork into Devilgus, and it will be done! Because Devilgus is a pig, right. Go this way, immediately, final encounter with Devilgus, the evil emperor of, of the Defin- of the, of the Devotos Empire. Apparently who has hypnosis, I don't know about that, anyway. If you do a spinning attack, it will, if you do a spinning attack like this, you will jump back, avoiding some of the attacks, like so. Keep doing like that. And then you'll discover that Divinidos has been destroyed, and no, wait. Divinidos is a machine! The Pig Emperor is a bloody machine! Makes sense, really. Are you sure? Nothing about it was unnatural. Everything was mechanical based, so of course it was an a, a, a evil egg fruit, a freaking pork fruit, and now that machine is dead. I'm worried though, why is that? Well, as it turns out, Devinta, as in, as in Devilgus is actually a machine, that means that he's, a, he's basically Sigma. He's got hundreds and hundreds of robotic copies. In other words, he's got a whole lot of M whole lot of pigs there. Got a whole lot of pigs. Just a second. It's got a lot of pigs. Yeah, these pigs do take a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. This is why you're gonna need to start thinking about go basically with a hit and run approach. You hit and then you run. You take about two of those attacks to take them out. And then move on to the teleportation device. And uh oh hello. What we got here? Oh it's mini boss time. Yeah! I alluded to earlier back in back in episode six. We got we have our definitive final battle against Axel Gear, the killer of your the, uh, the killer, of, uh, or basically the one who disabled your adopted father, the previous host of previous founder of the Rocket Knights. So all you have to do is slash him, counter his sword slashes, and then basically take out you take him out effectively. Just keep going with that one. He is very determined to have you killed and use the one of a traitor order to the pig. So now he's gonna do something stupid, and when he does, now it literally goes to this bit here. It's dangerous. You now is you're now in space. He fights you in space, you've gotta hang on to these. If you don't if you don't fall to the left, you will die if you go to the left there. He's making sure that you fly off into space, because even your magic is going to last forever and shit. That's really the, your magic, I think your, your magic basically evaporated when you got here. And, uh, that's about it for, uh, yeah, that's it. He, he, goes, he falls into space. Or does he? No, he doesn't. He's not dead yet. Because he's an idiot. Just go, you gotta just keep doing this. You have to time it right. When you do, Go on that. I believe that was a hit there. Uh, keep going on that one. No, oh, no, he actually blocked it with a spinning attack. Keep still with the spin attack, which is really interesting. And there, you have to hit him before he does the spin attack. That's really bad that. Um, he's not dead yet. He will be soon. He will be. No, he still blocked, he blocked the attack still with that uh, sword. And uh, that's... Yeah, hit him still. Immediately. There we go. And Axel Gear is sucked into space, assuming he is dead. Very assuming he was dead. Anyway. But we all we're going deeper into the pig star. Getting close now. Very close. 
we got some more pig 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 per pig robots or oh, devil this robot minion robotic shells they're the ones that are basically basic enemies in this lobby uh just a bit of a heads up yes make sure that fine there we go right Do it, and I believe we're now heading to the boss. Or not, we're heading towards the recharging chamber. You're gonna need to do this. Charge that weapon, fine. There we go. Now we got everything that we need. Basically, this is me trying to do a little bit of collecting all the items here. There we go, put the charge there. Now, we should be fully recharged, ready for the bat final battle with Devilgus. The actual Devilgus. Let's go. Get the right amount of balance. There we go. There we go. Now then, this is the final battle, Devilgus. It is actual, very ugly. CPU crap. We're waiting for him to drop. There he is. That's Devilgus right there. Devilgus is a virus. He also has a sticking out part. Hit that with your attacks. Doesn't matter which direction you hit him from, you have to hit him in the right direction. Because if you hit him, well, if, he, if you his part gets exposed, hit that exposed part, so you know which actually kills him. But he has light, but he has attacks that will stop you. Quite literally. Also, he has hoops. I don't know who's what's more effective. Hoops that don't hoops usually suck. Very bad. At least we got gravity. Hit him like Just basically hit him when there's some kind of thing showing up. So yeah, you have to hit the stick. You have to hit the red part that sticks out. There we go. He goes it. It does take a bit. It does take a while. Uh, just have to hit the stick part that's up. That's really about it. Uh, spin dash is very effective. Does the most damage. But now he just throws out the parts there. Now he's very desperate. The music. Well, I like the fact that the music increases its. Uh, music increases intensity every time he gets close to his death. You know it has to be. That. Can we Can we get down to it? He's not dead yet, but I got you, but if you hear the music increase, he's now basically teleporting everywhere. Very desperate to try and stay alive. I kinda of like that. That's actually kind of intense. For a final boss, very intense. And that's it! Devil Ghost has fallen! The outside shell is gone! Finito! Finale! The devil pigs are dead! The uh... Divin Do Divinitus... Devotus Empire has fallen for good this time. And as usual, the space station now explodes. Problem is though, because of that magic power, we don't no longer have the means to fly back to space. So, conveniently, we take, a, we take an escape pod. Out of the ship. So there goes the uh, pig. So there goes the pig star. Destroyed by Devintos. We're out. And who the fuck is following us? Oh dear. I don't think he's dead. The ship. The uh, the base is gone. That's pretty cool. The base is gone. There's no more dev pig star. But um, now we are literally controlling the pod, and now we have to avoid the the final fall of the freaking Devilgus. Or the Delgus thing. Now, this is a timed thing. You can't attack, but you have to dodge all the attacks. You have to dodge it until we end, until we go back onto the planet below. So keep dodging, keep dodging all the attacks. 
Uh, once we approach the atmosphere, we'll be fine. Because even in his... He's, he's basically enthralled with madness so much, he doesn't realize, he doesn't see the folly of his plan. So all you have to do is just keep dodging, keep dodging, as it were. Because whilst you can survive re-entry, no problem with a pod, him is just a machine that explodes very easily. As you're about to watch. And thus, and thus, Devil Dust has fallen for good this time. Destroyed by the very thing that caused his madness. You. And that's it. We've beaten the Rocket Knight Adventures. So, as the escape pod heads back towards the Zebulus, Zebulus castle itself. And our pod escapes. Basically, I don't know how we do this. We must have got, we must have head back to the Veneto city, got the princess back, reunited her with the father, and that's really about it. And of course, Sparks, to realise that everything is fine, just basically decides to head off. And that's really about it. That's exactly what uh, Rocket Knight was about. Once the day is saved, he goes off and disappears into the light. Although, this, although there is a sequel that was made, and of course the uh, the brand new rock, the Rocket Knight Adventure that was released for the PS3, 360, and PC, also ended up on the third version of this one, and that is it. A very short game, a very fun game too. I enjoyed the heck out of this. I wanted to play this for the longest time, and well, I actually, I got I got a lot of stuff I wanted to pull. I wanted to pull my finger out, so I wanted to get some stuff that's conveniently done. That's pretty good enough for me, at least. Uh, that's indeed very good. So, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the credits, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to the next game. I'll see you all next time. Which game am I going to pick? I don't know yet. It eventually, it'll just be something that's... It'll, I'll just see you in the skies. <laughs>